I decided to add something like uh, it's not exactly a hole. I think it's more like uh, the pig's uh, feet over here. Uh, and yeah, now I'm ready to start uh, actually sculpting this. And um, let's let's go. Well, I already did the feet. So now I'm going to concentrate on the upper and upper areas. Uh, this is going to be a very mark uh, rib cage because she's very skinny. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you for joining. I decided I will be able to do the arms too, but I wanted to be done with the torso first before I start doing the arms. What else is going to be hard to work in the torso if I have the arms covered with clay? So I'm just going to... I'm patching some holes. And I said I was going to enhance the, the rib cage. I have the back on here. I add a little a spine to it, like this area here. I add some clay on there, but I also am going to enhance it with my tool. Hello, everyone. Because this kind of goes as an indentation here going inside. Oops. It's kind of hard. Well, you will see some of the process of the. When I make videos, I have my camera set up here. Sometimes it's, a, it's on my head. Female monster, by the way. And I have to keep checking because my camera records 20 minutes and then it dies. But I have to just do it again. So every 20 minutes it cuts. I have to check for that. And now I'm able to see your comments, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, the spine, the spine, the spine, the spine. You're watching over here. Okay, the spine is going all over this way. So you see, I'm able to see this. That's what I wanted. I add some clay and I also model this. Keep checking that everything is on the camera, by the way. Bones on the neck that go through the spine are pretty complicated to, to make. It's not that easy, really. Oh, by the way, now I only have a line, but it's more than that. The shape is way more than that. But I'm just getting into basic, into basic shapes. And here, I'm just going to go and push the clay in with my, one of my favorite tools to make this line here. Ok, 
Okay. Now, do I get this in camera? Yes. I need to get her butt in camera because I'm going to detail the butt in here. That's her both crack. Even though she, she has almost no flesh, no meat, there are some areas that I'm trying to enhance. Whenever I need to add clay, I'm just add clay. Oh. Every time I start to check, I should I should turn it off the camera. So I'm only wasting the time. Adding clay, some parts that need it. I could do, hmm, trying to, yeah, this is just being born right now, pretty much. So anything that's very happening here. How it comes. I'm kind of thinking on the anatomy of the human anatomy still, but but still, I want to keep some of the some of the human structure in her, even though she's not human. Um, I want to enhance this area here. Like I said, don't ask me why, but this is just happening. Okay. Here. And here. No. This part of it on the hands. Thank you guys for joining. change my mind or maybe I like it and I'll have more clay actually like it right now. Let's see. Maybe this can turn into wrinkles later on. this chunk for sure some kind of a protruding bone come that comes out it's part of the hip for sure yeah yeah I think I like it so 
I will let it stay as long as I decide to change something later on. Yep, so the other side has to have the same. I'm not missing your comment. Hard when you have to record your own videos and edit. And post it and promotion promotion for everything. Everything done by me. Wish somebody can help me. <laughs> um yes, look at something else but I think I think I like it. So I'm just bl blending and connecting this new clay that I had here to her hips, I guess. And she has a butt. After all, maybe I'll just do this and, and do the arms later because this clay is very, very soft. Yeah, I like it. I like this thing I just did now. Like exaggerating the hips. But you see, don't I don't lose the 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 overall shape like I'm trying to keep this side and this side uh, e equal like I told you you can make changes when you're making a creature but the changes you do the, the, the parts you create uh, the structure the anatomy it has to make sense Because your creature should look like it's real. You say she has a butt. <laughs> That's a little piece of humanity. Oh, she also is going to have her uh, female parts. Because she's female. making everything fall because she's skinny she doesn't work out she's just skin and bones so whatever is is not the bone will be hanged okay now the next gonna be hard because it's weird. It's too long and I don't know. Oh I guess while the camera is still sitting here, I can do the crouch <laughs> growing area. I wasn't trying that with me. I'm just pushing clay here, I'm not going to be adding I don't think I need to add any clay here I can just push around until I get the shape I want Yeah, 
she's going to help her feed me here. But I'm getting too close to the core. I can see the core right now, so I'm going to push the core inside. But this can cause me cracks later on. Okay. Ooh. You see, when you make realistic parts in a creature, it is start coming to life. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, there, and I could, I'm not sure if she's going to have a belly button. These are things that are well created, but we were not born from a human being, so mm, I want to think about that one. No belly button will be more logic to do. I'm just just to be sure and give you a look see that's uh, still need more work on there though still need more work but I'm gonna keep going uh, a little bit up 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 this is kind of easy though the part of the ribs is going to be com more complicated but... no it's a demon the monster It's not a fall. It looks pretty, 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 pretty weird. And it has pig legs. I mean, pig uh, feet. All right. Then going up, up, up. And rolling. Okay. I did that. Now we should do. This hanging skin is from here. I'll do it on the camera and then I'm gonna show it to you. Okay. Yeah. And some markings in the hanging skin there. I was thinking, exaggerating all the wrinkles and stuff like that. Just exaggerate everywhere. You see, she can have some buildups of, no, not fat, but of hanging skin. She can have, she can have some buildups of that like in this area. Oh, let's go for the end today. Like over here. Oh. Over here. There. This and then this thing. And I'm just playing around still. Hmm. I'm just thinking it could be. Uh, I need this too. If I like something, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll just change it. Yeah, 
I think I like that too. I should add more. Hmm, maybe I should add more of those. Just like rolls of hanging skin. I think now I see your comments, finally. And the next picture. Well, she has a lot of hanging skin in this area anyway. Coming from the belly. Going from here, probably so. So, many more wrinkles. Maybe she was fat before. <laughs> and then she lost weight or <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Anything to make her look like grotesque. Thing, ugly. I'm gonna build up more hanging skin, okay? Oh, my mental is very good. Like right here, another hanging skin here. Here doesn't convince me that much, but ah, uh, let me work it out. We might work out at the end. Hmm. Mm, I think it's fine in the end. Everything just rolling and hanging here. from the back. It goes all the way there. Can I end up there though? Okay, now that I have done and other say not that much probably. Yes, I'm recording a class here. And you are able to watch how I do that. Something I think allergies for, for real. So you see, you see, I'm adding this. This. Oops. Sometimes my hair gets on my my head gets on the camera, and I have to edit those parts. Luckily, nobody complains about the classes. So far, everybody's happy. So even though it's a hard job, and seems like I'm doing a good job. And like I told you, we dance on that. Yeah, it's on the back. Yeah, it's a demon. It's a monster. People, don't be afraid. It's just a clay sculpture. That build up. Need some more work, but yeah, I like it. 
And it will not really falling this Okay. Yeah, I know it's changing and it looks weird, but it's, that's that's what I want actually. I could go with the wrinkles on the back. This I want to have a lot of texture like I never before done in my creatures. So according to me, so far so good. Oh, ah, another reason why you're using soft clay for a creature is when you had to do the texture. <laughs> All of them is when you had to do texture. It's easy to texture something, uh, your piece, your sculpture when the clay is soft actually usually for a doll i prefer the clay to be firm because you know i want the skin to be just tight and firm and very nice you know but for a monster for a creature i don't want that i want the opposite to that So for that, soft clay, play a key room. There you go. Stop. Listen. Uh, it's still, it, this, this, this is just, a, it's still a sketch. Um, I still need to keep uh, working on it. She has a bud, she has some wrinkles and falling skin. She has a little bit of the arch area, which I will enhance. That's not that's not it. You know, it has to be very realistic. So um, I'm still thinking about the belly button, which probably I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe I will do something else there instead of a belly button. The common belly button. Um, maybe I can do more wrinkles over here. I can always come back and keep uh, redoing and enhancing. Right now we need to have a full figure. And I kind of do have a full figure. But... Okay. Oops. There we go. Keep going up. Now here. Uh, what should I do here? Uh, probably I can do this. Probably yes, probably not. So she's going to have a line here. I'll, I'll just do something later here, and then later on I will decide if I want to do a belly button. But I think I didn't want to have a belly button. That doesn't make more sense. Mm. What I should concentrate is on the... Now I'm going to the chest area. Keep on working here, though. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm afraid. I'll get checking and rechecking. Uh, let me see this.
very tricky here because this is not your typical neck. Something different. Oh, nice, thank you. 